All right. <clears throat> I am just doing my second ever live video for Familiar. Um, and I'm feeling a little bit sick, so I'm hoping this, uh, this will be a quickie. Um, I just wanted to do a quick unboxing for, uh, for you guys. <coughs> so I just got my, hey, <laughs> did you see my address? Okay, so I just got my, uh, Marigold Tarot. And I'm super excited to uh, to open it for in front of you guys. I didn't. Uh, I forgot to blank out everything. <laughs> uh, so I'm just gonna see if I can cover this up. And uh, the the box came really quickly. Like it was a really swift shipment, and I'm like so completely impressed. Um, also. Uh, the artist Amrit um, lives really close by to me like really uh, really isn't actually um, a uh, really is a strong term but she actually uh, she I guess it's a girl uh, Amrit lives fairly close by so the shipping was not that uh, expensive and it didn't take long so this is amazing I think um, this is the death card so this is a um, uh, uh, I think Amrit um, is probably Sikh I think they said that they were Sikh so the deck is heavily influenced by Sikh culture which is really rad because you got these dope turbans the uh, Sai um, or the sickle looks amazing I'm, I'm pretty sure that's uh, Sikh symbolism so dope um, and if you needed anything, this is where to shop. It was not exactly a cheap deck, um, but the good stuff never is cheap. So it was packaged really well. Um, really happy with that. So if it did, um, rattle around, it wasn't going to be, uh, destroyed or anything. It looks like there's gold foil on the box. I didn't know that that was going to be the case. So awesome styrofoam oh my gosh <laughs> wow this is absolutely beautiful look at this um a 78 deck uh a 78 card tarot deck rooted in life death and gold illustrated by Amrit Brar. amazing so I don't want to pierce this with scissors oh well if I go really carefully into the the seam maybe that no that didn't do anything so at least if it didn't do anything to the plastic it didn't do anything to the box so that's good um wow this this is beautiful the the pack is like a nice matte black with gold foil on it this is really beautiful look at those look at those those drawings <laughs> oh, oh my gosh um, I also, uh, from Eclectic Tarot, um, I have a uh, six card interview spread that I think I'm going to do um, with the tarot. So, let's see, that's in the shot there. Oh man, wow, these are beautiful. It also came with a, um, a PDF uh, book. Oh man, I'm sorry, I really love the smell of printed oh printed material okay so these are the cards there's the fool oh wow these are gorgeous um matte black on the uh the side uh there's also an addition with gilded gold um so it's the same gold foil is on the side and the cards i think are I don't think they're in gold foil, but I could be wrong. Um, there is a more expensive deck. I did not get it because I'm still a student. So you can see though, these are, oh my gosh, these are really beautiful. They really rival, they rival my Santa Muerte deck for being as gorgeous. Um, but maybe I'm also being um, partial because I love skeletons. Um, cool. So look at these gorgeous cars. 
I didn't read the entire PDF. Um, oh my gosh, look at that. These are, these are beautiful. I guess I should move up closer. Wow, the emperor is, the emperor is a real babe. Oh man, yeah, I'm really happy that I got this tarot deck. Um, there we go. Let me put some light on. There we go. So you can see, they're beautiful. The back is really gorgeous as well. The lovers. Ah! The chariot's riding a bike! I love it! <laughs> Look at him, he's doing great. He's riding along. Oh, I love it. Now, I, I mean, a lot of these videos, there's a lot of people talking a lot in them. I don't know if I should do that, really. Do you want to hear me ramble on about really nothing? Oh, wow. This, oh, wow. That's really rad. That looks like, oh, man. I've seen, oh, my gosh. Wow, someone chopped their finger off on the Wheel of Fortune. So did this guy over here. At least, I guess. At least they match. Um, yeah, I don't know what that is. It looks like a farm implement. Oh, dude, that is beautiful. I'm so glad I got these cards. Hangman, let's just flip through real quick so I can get to the interview spread because I'd really like to do that. Wow, Temperance's Sorry is gorgeous. Oh, sorry. Okay, I'm not going to sneeze. Okay. Wow. The devil's beautiful as well. Emmerich did such a good job on these. The stars. Wow. Yeah, this series of four, the star, the moon, the sun. Oh, and I guess not judgment, but those three are just beautiful. Such a gorgeous theme. Um, the world. So I guess the wands are flowers. These actually, we have these in Ontario. That's pretty rad. So I guess these are all plants. And the book will tell me what's what, I hope. Yeah, these are, these are gorgeous. And I guess this, the Eight of Wands would be Olive Branches. That's pretty neat. Wow, the court cards are beautiful too. What a great job. I'm so happy I got these. So I guess if there's anything you wanted to stop on, you could like pause it at the spot. Oh, it looks like the cups are skulls. Oh, can't lie, I'm a fan of that. Big fan of that. These are really cool. Wow, that's badass. I'm not sure what nooses have to do with the Ten of Cups, though, but... Oh, wow, these swords are cool, too. Wow, there you go. That's what the swords, the three of swords, is supposed to look like. I love the daggers. That looks rad. Wow, jawbone. Dagger is sick. So I guess this one, that one is uh, the nightmare card, and that one is the uh, spears through the back card. Wild. These look fantastic. What a good Prezi I got myself. 
So rings are instead of pentacles in this deck, so that's pretty cool. And it's, it's really wild because rings are also pretty significant to people in their lives. Oh, wow, that looks really cool. All right, so it's just about time to interview. Oh, the queen of rings. Isn't she gorgeous? Wow, moms. Oh, beautiful. All right, let's give her... Now... There are some people who don't like riffle shuffling, but mm, here goes. I'm going to give it a riffle shuffle. I don't do reversals. Wow. I really like the black edges. They, I just think that that makes the deck look amazing. Sorry to my girl Gabrielle, but I'm riffle shuffling these cards. Looks like it can stand up to it, so that's pretty important. Really, really happy with the black edges. That looks so sick. What a great deck of cards. And the size is really nice to shuffle with. We've got a couple jumpers. Let's see what we got. Three of swords and the ten of swords. See, I look at cards like that when they pop out of my deck, especially on the first, the first shuffles and the first reading. Um, I'm looking at that. This deck is trying to scare me, but it doesn't, uh, it doesn't work. So good try. Throw you guys back in the deck. So the three of swords is the heartbreak card and the 10 of swords is, oh, uh, a horrible end to a cycle so I refuse to let my deck push me around that is not going to deter me a couple jumpers does not a reading make so give one more ripple. Well, I can feel like cutting it a bit. Okay, so I'll give like, say, two more riffles and cut the cards and do the reading. I think I'm going to use Complete Guide to the Tarot by Ian Gray for the reading to the, uh, for the interpretations. As with the the book with Eden Gray, cut in three piles to the left with the left hand. It's the according to that book, it's the gypsy way, and you put them back together any way you want. Just quickly going to put that there so you can see it. Grab my book. There. All right. So let's uh let's get a reading out of this. It's terrible. All right. So here's my reading right here. So six cards. And we'll see what it says. All right. Oh, it looks like it's going to be a sword heavy reading. I hope not. They're not a lot of fun. All right, so. Let's 
show you. Let's show you what's going on here. So here is the reading. We have all the cards. So it starts with the Seven of Swords, Five of Cups, Eight of Cups, the Star, Four of Rings, and the Page of Cups. So hello Kelly Watson. Thank you for watching. Here we go. Just got this tripod off Alex off of eBay. I'm really excited about it. All right, so let's see what the deck says. So seven of swords. All right, so this says, tell me about yourself. What is the most your most important characteristic? Oh, weird. <laughs> Perhaps what I might do is uh, sage the deck and have another reading because I can't see how this applies. So apparently this deck's most important characteristic is a plan that may fail or an unwise attempt to make away with what is not yours. Unstable effort, arguments over plans, spying on another, partial success. Perhaps... Perhaps it's calling bullshit on my tarot practice and how I really ought to get back into it. Um, so I could see how that's it because to be honest, um, right now is I'm starting off my career. Um, I put off school for a long, long time um, due to oh just several several issues with life just getting in the way of stuff so I was unable to start my career or even go to school until just recently so um, right now I just started an internship I am working my first job in the field and I'm finishing off my last couple courses so um, I haven't been able to put as much effort into tarot as I really ought to and maybe this deck is just calling bullshit on that and I can't even get mad if it is um, that's what I need in a tarot deck I need it to tell me the unabashed truth right so um, the deck's maybe the deck's most important characteristic is calling BS on BS and good for it like good um okay uh card number two what are your strengths as a deck that's the five of cups so cool so five of cups is the next one um fives aren't always a great card either um let's see there's a an eight which is a nice that's a good stable double stable number um, we have a four as well and a page which generally means um, messages and the star which is the hope card so I'll put that together when um, when I get ar uh, around to the each individual question but it's always a good idea when you're doing a reading to just take an overview and see what you have number wise so the first card the seven of swords is kind of a downer um, the five of cups is also a bit of a downer. Um, as far as I remember the eight of cups, yeah, eight of cups is a little bit of a downer as well. So this deck is, I get the feeling it's just trying to scare me, but not an easy thing to do. Okay. So strengths of the deck, um, disappointment. <laughs> Sorrow and things from which pleasure was expected, disillusionments in love, marriage broken up, loss of friendship, vain regret, lost but with something left over. So this is generally the card where you um, you don't see uh, what you are leaving behind. Um, it's disappointment in what you're looking at, but right behind you is the good stuff. So, strengths as a deck, oh my gosh, how do you even interpret that as strengths as a deck? Um, 
perhaps the strength as a deck is it's telling me that uh, even if it's giving me bullshit, there's still good parts to any reading. Um, so perhaps its strength is giving me the balance of the two sides to a story. Um, card number three, what are your limits as a deck? So that's the eight of cups. Um, things thrown aside as soon as gained, journeying from place to place, misery and re uh, reckoning without cause, cause, disappointment and love. The seeker may desire to leave material success for something higher, success abandoned. Um, perhaps uh, this is not one of those situations where... I don't know, um, I tend to get tarot cards and then set them aside for my career. So perhaps uh, the limits as a deck is that I can only get so far if I leave it aside. So I still want to be doing readings with this deck because it's really gorgeous and it's just... I, I guess it's a little creepy with the um, skeletons and black and gold, but I don't know. I'm in love with this deck. Even if it even if it hates me on first impressions. Um, okay, so card number four is what do you bring to the table? What are you here to teach me? And that is hope, uh, the star. So the star represents uh, hope after hope after difficulties. Um, the way I always uh, interpret it off the top is just that it is the card that immediately follows the tower and after all is lost violently and with great difficulty then the star rises as your source of hope so insight inspiration hope unselfish aid good health gifts of the spirit great love will be given and received so that is what this deck brings to the table and i'm here for it even if um this deck, it's this deck's most important characteristics, strengths, and limits as a deck are pretty much downers. Um, it's interesting though uh, that asking flat questions to this deck about who it is gets downer answers. But when we move into um, its relationship to me. Uh, we start getting into more positive cards. So the second last card in question, or, or the second last card in question is, how can I best learn from and collaborate with you? How did I lay these out again? <laughs> um, how can I best learn from and collaborate with you? And that is the Page of Cups. So this is really interesting because this is a card. Um, pages have to do with messages. And I oftentimes think about um, pages as they, um, as as they are in um, Canadian government uh, uh, legislature, and what the what the pages do in the legislature is they actually pass notes between um, uh, members of parliament. So that's the way I look at pages as they're here with messages. Um, knights can also mean messages as well, but um, especially with pages, um, I just think of young, uh, you know, youth carrying messages for the querent, and that in this case, I think I'm the querent. So what? How can I best learn and collaborate? Um, so. Um, it's yeah, the deck is here. It looks uh, the 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 book meaning is that um, a melancholy and passionate youth, st studious, given to flights of the imagination, willing to win render service to me. So that's pretty rad. Um, the I guess looking at this deck as a um, uh, a, a helper to um, to uh, uh, render service to me. Oh, is the best the best way of looking at that and how I can best learn to collaborate um, it also uh, yeah it's it has to do with news messages um, perhaps the birth of a child not unless you believe in immaculate conception but um, and new business methods proposed so it looks like this deck the best way to 
um, collaborate with me is uh, getting messages from this uh, this pack of cards, which is pretty rad because that's exactly what you use uh, tarot for. And the potential outcome of our working relationship. Um, now, generally, I look at um, I look at tarot like the reason that I do familiar. Um, uh, I guess vlogs or whatever, um, uh, tarot study uh, videos uh, once a month or so is so that I can learn tarot. So working relationship, I think um, I'm, I'm not going to be <laughs> making money from tarot anytime soon until, you know, I get to the point where I don't really need the book. Um, but uh, so working relationship is how we actually work together is how I'm going to look at that. So the potential outcome is the Four of Rings or the Four of Pentacles. Um, so it says assured material gain, success, earthly power, leading to nothing beyond it. Gifts, legacy, inheritance may indicate a miserly, ungenerous character. I hope that's not talking about me. Um, it looks like the outcome of our relationship is perhaps, um, I guess the way I'd interpret that is... Um, that I will gain from this, but um, it may it may not lead to anything beyond just fun and games. Um, I guess gifts, legacy, inheritance is that the uh, the tarot cards can can bestow gifts upon my upon me when I use them. So that is my interview. Uh, my interview reading with this deck of cards. If you see anything else um, that this reading could mean, please let me know because, I mean, I am only but one reader um, who's still in the middle of learning. So if you have any insights to uh, to contribute, I'd more than love to hear from you about it. Um, in the meantime, these are the cards in the spread. And... Hello, Penny and Randy. Thank you, Penny and Randy. Thank you for uh, popping through. Uh, this is my interview deck reading, interview spread reading. So this is what the deck is telling me about itself, which is the Seven of Swords. Uh, pretty tragic. Um, this is the strengths as a deck. Five of Cups, also a downer. Um, the limits as a deck. Eight of Cups also a downer definitely a uh, a limitation um what this deck brings to the table is the star and i'll say it's absolutely gorgeous um uh, um let's see how i can best learn to collaborate is the page of cups and the potential outcome of the working relationship is the four of rings so that concludes the interview with the Marigold Tarot. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for checking out these beautiful cards with me. Just cut the deck and see where he is, who shows up. Justice. Wonderful. I'll take that as a good sign. So once again, thanks for coming out. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for uh, checking out this deck of cards if you um are as enthralled by it as i am you can order yourself a pack there uh from amrit brar who is an amazing clearly amazing canadian uh canadian artist um who lives just down the way a little further east than me and uh, if you're Canadian, it's uh, it'll come in the mail super quickly. So thanks a lot for joining me on this unboxing, uh, familiar unboxing. Um, my name is Sonia. Um, I probably should have introduced myself in the beginning. I'm still not exactly the greatest um, uh, YouTuber yet. But uh, thanks for joining me, and it looks like the next Familiar Tarot should be probably in about two weeks, um, and I believe I will be discussing, I think we did the Hermit last time, so, ooh, up next after the Hermit is the Wheel of Fortune, so, um, 
tune in in about two weeks. Um, stay in touch on Facebook and Twitter. If uh, if you're at the YouTube, please subscribe. Um, once I get to a thousand subscribers, I hate begging for stuff, but once I get to a thousand subscribers, I can do these um, these videos live and horizontally so that you get a better picture. So thanks a lot for coming out and. Um, Maybe, you know, if you're interested in Amrit Bar's work, there's the website. If you're interested in the tarot cards, there's a Gilded Gold edition with uh, with gold edges. And hopefully, um, that is everything you need to know to pick up your own pack. Um, see you in two weeks, familiar. Thank you.